surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys, Heat of Essentials here. This is a cube storage that I was trying to figure out how to have it besides my bed because of the height. I need something tall, but not too tall. So I'm going to turn this over. It's not tall enough, but I'll be putting a base that's going to increase the height just a bit to cover up the space here. I want to make a cute nightstand that would be pleasing to my eyes. I'm going to be starting with wood that I cut into the size of the mirrors that I'm going to be using for the nightstand. I'm also going to be having wood here and here. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I'll be installing hinges to the doors and I'm taking this route because if I had used drawer pulls, it's going to be like making a nightstand from scratch. I'm just changing an existing item into something better and besides, this route is so much easier. I switched up the screws that came with the hinges for shorter ones. This is so that the screws does not show at the back of the wood that I'm using. I'll be using just one screw per hinge to attach the doors. Now I'm doing this because I want to see if this is going to work before I continue with the project. The one at the bottom seems to be okay. Now I'm going to repeat the same thing to the top. Yay! Both of them turned out okay. The pre-drill holes that I made earlier is going to make it easier for me to attach the doors back to the storage. The next step is to attach the mirrors to the boards. I added mirrors to the other boards and left them overnight to dry. The cube storage I have was covered only at the bottom, so I'm going to be covering the top using a board that I got from the Dollar Tree. rough edges will be covered with bling wrap. I'm also going to be securing this with tack nails as well, only because the wood that I'm using does not work well with hot glue. As much as I want it to, it does not hold so well. So because of that, I'll be using tack nails to secure it properly to the wood. After that, I painted inside the doors white. I'm going to let that dry and then clean the sides of the storage and cover it with contact paper.
This little part here, where the screw is, is going to be covered with gem. Now it's time to attach the doors to the storage. This needs to be properly secured when it's closed. So I got friction roller catch from Lowe's. You can also get this from any other home improvement store. After attaching the roller, I put in the catch and then used nail polish. <laughs> I know, nail polish. <laughs> I used nail polish just to mark it down and to make it easier for me to see it on the wood. This will make it easy for me to know exactly where to attach the catch. I'm going to go ahead now and attach the door that's going to be for the top. Before that, I'm going to be adding a little bit of height that's going to be for the cubes at the top only because of the bling wrap that I included to the board that's at the bottom. And because of that, it increased the height just a bit. And now I would have to increase the height at the top so that it doesn't touch the one that's at the bottom. Now that I have the pieces inside the cube, I'll be using this leftover tile inside the cube. I did this on both sides that had the hinges. Because I increased the height of the door that's at the top, it left a little bit of space in between both doors. So because of that, I'm going to be covering it up with cutouts from a flexible mirror sheet. Now that's much better. I'll be making a chevron pattern with mirror reflective paper on the mirrors. Each of the strip will be one inch away from one another. I'm using a sharp X-Acto knife to cut out the excess pieces. Throughout this whole project, this was the only part that was kind of time consuming. And I think it's because I used thinner strips for the chevron design. Hmm. When I was finally done, I used hard boxes at the bottom for the base. I glued all the boxes together and covered it up with mirror reflective paper. I attached the base to the bottom and brought in the nightstand to the room. It's not complete yet, so what I'm going to do now is use adhesive knobs for mirrors and attach them to the doors. And the link for this is going to be down in the description box below. The bonding strength of the knob to the mirrors is really, really impressive. And this is going to make it easy for me to open my mirror doors. Now I have a beautiful nightstand that is the height that I want that would fit the corner besides my bed. And I was able to achieve this by switching up the look of a cube storage. You can use long drawer pulls instead of knobs for the doors. It's all up to you and how comfortable you are using it. This is an awesome idea, and I hope you all learned one or two things from it. Now don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.